okay, coach, catch your breath for a minute. <laughs> um, just thrilled with a um, great victory over Milwaukee. It's always an extremely um, tough matchup when you're, you know, just down the street from one another. And um, Kyle's got a really great team, and I think they're going to, you know, as their young kids improve, I think they're going to be um, really successful in their conference. Um, I thought just our improvement from Friday night to Sunday was what I was most proud about. Um, we weren't um, happy with how our defense was against Holy Cross and had a quick turnaround to make make some improvements and just really thrilled with the way Chloe Murata played um, and just a collective group of people who were ready to defend. Yeah, 24 offensive rebounds and six steals, five blocks. I mean, what did you like about the hustle plays that, that your team had? It was like a different team today, and it was so critical to way, the way Milwaukee plays with their toughness. I think we had six offensive rebounds Friday night and 24 tonight. Um, and it just wasn't one or two people going. You saw Emily LaChapelle, obviously Chloe led the way, 16 boards is ridiculous. Um, you know, Kennedy Miles, very efficient with, with her minutes and her rebounding. Um, and then it kind of became contagious. I thought we looked statistically at some things from Friday and we weren't even making the effort to go to the glass. And, and obviously that's not our identity. So just really proud of um, limiting their second chance opportunities and just having a lot of bodies uh, in that paint. And how much is Chloe just setting that tone with, with her versatility? I thought Chloe and Liza both set the tone. You know, obviously Chloe's numbers were a little bit higher, but the way they had to battle in front and get around, they got um, Wallstead in foul trouble, which is so huge. She's a, she's a great player, a lead kid. Um, and then again, once we, we started subbing, we actually got uh, stronger with that, which was, which was great. Uh, you said you were more impressed with how you played today defensively than Friday. Did you make any any changes other than obviously the starting lineup? Yeah, we, well, our, our starting lineup's gonna change a lot, I think, this year in a, in a good way. We have a lot of different combinations we can put in, but um, to be honest with you, we went back yesterday and, and rebuilt the defense and talked about all the little things we do, what we needed to do to be in position to beat Milwaukee. Um, I thought our players for the quick turnaround were extremely engaged with our film sessions, um, the combinations of live reps and walk through with it. Um, I'm just really proud of the way they responded after, you know, um, a tough film session after Holy Cross. Uh, after the media timeout in the first quarter, it seemed like you guys really pulled, pulled away with the scoring. Uh, what was said in the media timeout that you know, solidified the first quarter as a uh, win for you guys? I, I thought we were moving the basketball really well. I thought it took us a few minutes just to kind of get settled in. And then, you know, the ball moves for us, that's a great thing. I think we got a lot of different people on the floor. Claire Kafis was great um, to set the tone for us on both sides of the ball. She came in, hit, hit a couple nice shots. Um, and that's just the sign of like a, a veteran um, senior who, you know, did the right thing, followed the game plan, and, and saw some great rewards from it. I think you played nine players in the first quarter. Is that the depth you were talking about? Or is that you're going to figure that out? Or are you still going to play that, that amount of people for the foreseeable future? Yeah, I, I want to play as many as I can. And I think we're, we're, we got a competitive group in practice. I think we're still looking at rotations. I think there's a couple of different ways we can play. Um, so it's going to be a day by day. We're, we're scatting a lot of things in practice. Mm -hmm. Um, we have a, a good mix of some vets and some young guys in different roles. So I think you'll see just different, um, different combinations. And if somebody's off, you know, Jordan King hasn't had her best, you know, games this weekend. But again, still being able to win and share that basketball is, is a great thing for our team. So uh, are we there yet? No, but I think depth will hopefully be um, something we can hang our hats on. I think those were the first threes that Claire's hit since she's returned, right? Yeah. So how nice was it for you just to see her knock those down? R really, really excited for her. And um, I thought she's been a little bit passive and she's a tremendous shooter and obviously out last year with her ACL. So to see her um, hit some shots, but defensively, other than a couple of you know, the fouls that were going on, I thought she was, she was great. Uh, in the fourth quarter alone, you had seven offensive rebounds, majority of which came from when Julia Akosin was on the floor. Uh, what did you see from her in the paint that you liked tonight? Juliana brings us some great size. So, um, I mean, her job, is, as well as all the bigs, are to get, get boards, right? So I thought she was strong and tough in there. Gave us some great minutes Friday night and Sunday. I think as we move forward, you know, to play some of the teams we do in the Bahamas next week, um, we had to give her some time to get some confidence because um, obviously she takes up great space. Uh, do you think she'll be critical in slowing down Texas's offense uh, come the Bahamas? Oh, I don't know. Um, Texas is a monster, mm -hmm. if you know anything about them. Uh, two or three in the country, so we're going to need everybody trying to just weather their storm. And um, you know, they full court press for 40 minutes, and feels like there's seven or eight defenders on the floor. So we're going to get a little rest, rest our legs, and then get to work on the Bahamas. How important as a coach is it for you to play this intercity rivalry game? It's huge. We, we've um, 
we have a great relationship with Milwaukee and, and Kyle and their head coach. And, you know, if you've, you've obviously been following our program, we've been doing some community service with both teams combined to help um, our youth and we put on you know two clinics now and um, in the summertime we can come together and be friends and you know help help the people around us and then easily we can you know turn the switch and um, compete against each other so it's a unique relationship um, really appreciate their program and respect their program and what they're doing and um, like I said you know maybe not their best night tonight but um, I think they're gonna have a great season uh, overall as a team you guys had a lot of threes not just Claire Capus uh, I believe Coy Morata opened the scoring for you with a three. Uh, King opened the third quarter with a three. Is that something you emphasize this week in practice, or you watch film and you're like, here's how we can get people open? What led to more threes being scored? Yeah, I think for us it's all about ball movement. I mean, I've always wanted to shoot more threes, um, you know, but it's nice if you spread the wealth. You know, a lot of different people had them. Um, you know, usually we know Kenzie's going to be able to shoot it. and. Um, you know, Jordan wasn't on her best, but we had, you know, Nia hit one, Chloe hit one. That's a, that's a great thing if we can, you know, make a few more threes this year. Anything else for Coach? Good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Thank you.